There were three girls. They decided to go for a paddle on Lavanock Point. One of the girls lost her footing and fell into the Bristol Channel. And it has a very strong current. Her friend, seeing her in difficulty, went to get her. And she was pulled in. That only left one young lady on the beach. Realising the danger, she opened her bag, pulled out her mobile phone and called the authorities. They very quickly charged up the Bristol Channel and rescued these two people. 110 years after Mr Guglielmo Marconi was standing on that very beach, as a result of his invention, those two young ladies owe their lives to him. And it doesn't stop there, it goes on and on and on. Everybody was against Guglielmo Marconi. Yet they said it would never work. On the 18th of May, 1897, a young Italian, a 21-year-old, is up on the headland at Lavenot Point trying to receive a radio signal sent by George Kemp from Flatham Island. Also on the beach was a man called Calvin doing a scientific review for the British government which you're going to report back to the Navy. Also sitting on the beach is Professor Slaysby, a German sent over by Kaiser Wilhelm, Kaiser Bill of the First World War fame. They were trying to develop a radio transmitter for the German army. So they sent this spy there to check up on him and, and report back. So Marconi was trying to sell his invention and everybody around you trying to steal it from you. You've stepped into a viper's nest. You're working under pressure. You've got people watching you. you you're all ready to go. You've got a deadline to meet and you press a button and it doesn't work. And you, you're frantically seeing which plug have I left off, what have I done wrong, and all the rest of it. And the more you get into a panic, the worse it becomes. Everybody is rejecting him. But you have youth on your side and you have total belief in your own ability. He knew he could do it and he was just going to prove it will work. It, the, the British Navy will buy it if I can just get it to go across this water, and I know it will. He thought, right, I can see the island there, over three miles away, nearly four. And then, Eureka! He's too far away. So, out of sheer desperation, Young Marconi picks up his receiver and walks from the top of Lavenot Cliff right the way down to the water's edge. A few adjustments on the receiver. He heard da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, the letter V. He jumped up with sheer, sheer excitement. So when I stand at Lavenot Point, looking across to Flatholm Island, I think a radio started from this very, very spot. 